Howdy. <laughs> this new painting of mine, this uh, commission, is a painting, a recreation of a, of a Marilyn Monroe picture that my aunt really likes. And when I was 16, uh, I painted a picture of Marilyn Monroe. This is unfinished. I got really frustrated with this painting because it was black and white. So it didn't require like mixing any colors really. It was it was pretty basic, but I just struggled with the, the features and getting the proportions correct. I was really discouraged. I ended up hating it. At the time I, I fully intended on coming back to it and fixing it, but it has sat in my closet for about eight years now. <laughs> um, and to be perfectly honest, I have no intention of finishing it. And so I figured <laughs> that eventually I would just take this canvas, repaint over it with something new, and make good use of it because canvases are expensive and I don't like wasting things. So I figured when, you know, when my aunt kind of wanted a Marilyn portrait anyway, I thought, well, I'll repaint over this old Marilyn portrait <laughs> with a new Marilyn portrait and hopefully one that's ten times better. Um, the whole background of the original image she wants me to recreate is like a dark red color. Learning from <laughs> from the easiness of this experience, I decided that it would make more sense to do the same thing as I did with this one and remake that red color, make a large batch of it. I, I remember how long it took to mix these colors and get them right, so I'm going to be spending at least like 20 minutes mixing paint. So this is the original Marilyn painting. I guess it doesn't look too terrible, but it's not not what I wanted it to be. It's not what I envisioned. I'm going to be painting this completely red and that's probably about as far as I'm going to get today. Okay, so I rem remembered this picture wrong. It's more of like a dark, dark brown tile. It's not even red. Like for some reason I remembered it being. And the problem with this picture is there's so many different versions of it. And they all have the bath tiles looking slightly different colors. We have the green here. That's so strange, man. I don't know what to do. Okay. It's better to ask the person what they want than it is to make assumptions. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Okay. So, we sent her the pictures of the different, like, different colors of tile. Like, in every version of this picture, it looks different. Like in the version she gave me, it's a dark brown, or it looks like a dark brown. But then in a better, brighter version, clear, clearer, it's clearer in general picture, that's probably what I'm going to be basing most of my detail work off of, it's a darker brown, or a lighter brown. And then in this off shot of it, it looks to be the same color again, it looks brown. But then, in screenshots from the movie, the, it looks blue, and in some shots it looks green. I don't know what color these tiles were. I actually think this would be a really cute way to kind of personalize a picture that's... Like, I mean, this picture is pretty pretty common. You see, like, there's puzzles of it. You can get it with, a, you know, on t-shirts and, and stuff. So I'm, I don't know, I think it would be kind of a cute way to... Like if she picked her favorite color to make as the tile, I think that could be kind of cute, but I'll see how, uh, what she wants to do. Because I like, I really like that sort of green tone actually, especially against her skin tone. And because there's a little bit of red, having like that really pretty almost olive green color would look gorgeous. Oh my god. Now I'm like talking like, oh, and blue. Oh my god, actually the blue would look fantastic with the red. I'd actually would probably like that more. Because the green and the red, I don't know, as beautiful as those colors look together, if you're not careful, they can look Christmassy. Um, so the blue and the red would be a gorgeous color combination. I'm actually kind of hoping she either chooses the blue or she gives me full reign to decide which color I want for the tiles. Because blue is it. I'm going to choose the blue. I don't want to be sitting here doing nothing all day while I wait for her to respond to me either. So what am I going to do? You know what? I'll work on this painting then since I'm sitting here doing nothing.
my aunt got back to me uh, yesterday and we kind of went back and forth a little bit but the decision has been made I'm gonna do the tiles blue like the way it looks in the movie I'm beyond excited I'm going to be <laughs> it's you it's your fault so today I'm just going to be mixing paint I'm gonna be mixing that blue color for the tiles of the Maryland painting I'm going to be um, maybe maybe painting the base color and then sketching out the drawing like the the placement of things but I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> I almost had to sneeze there and then I didn't and then I just did this like shaky thing and I'm uh, sorry so we'll see how far I get today I really don't think I'm gonna get much past the mixing stage because that does take freaking forever and I'm gonna be comparing it to the peachy tones that are gonna be her skin and the reds the bright poppy reds um so that i can have a good amount of paint to start with this is what the before looks like <laughs> yeah okay off the painting now So I don't know if you can tell the difference, I don't think the camera's picking it up, mind you my eyeballs aren't picking it up much either. This is, the camera on my phone is making this look a lot more saturated than it actually is. Um, I added a bit of orange here and then I added some brown here and these are the three skin tones I'm going to be working with. She's upset because she can't sit in my lap. What's going on? Why are you pulling a tantrum? Really? As I was saying, this is actually coming up perfectly on camera. In real life, this is slightly more magenta than I want it, but this would be like a red-orange color. And then this is the three blues, like the blue as it was when I made it. Up here, down here, and these two are with orange added to the blue. Because I thought that maybe if I added slight um, orangey to undertones that it might blend really nice because they have that or all of these colors have orange in common except for this one doesn't have any orange in it but I don't know I can't tell the difference between this one and, the, and this one like they look the same I have to make even more of the paint colors so I might just add some orange to it and see how that goes how it looks still have some swatching to do i don't think the tiles will ever go quite this light just in case for highlights just want to make sure it would look good I made marks on the edges of the canvas to mark where my grid lines will be. Typically I just eyeball the whole thing and spend forever trying to get the proportions and placement right, but after trying out a small version of the grid method for another piece in progress, I decided to give it a full try with Marilyn to make my life a little easier. I decided to use a red sharpie instead of my usual black as it would get lost in the black parts of Marilyn, but then realized that the red was hard to see on the black parts as well, and as I needed to get rid of Marilyn anyway, I decided to paint over her with white. I can't believe I'm doing this. You haven't touched this painting in years and I feel bad doing this to it. That's how I know that I've grown, you know? Just when and I can do stuff like this and not feel like extremely anxious about it. This painting didn't bring me joy. It didn't make me happy. But I also didn't like it enough or care enough to come back and do it. There's some works that I come back to and I finish them because I'm just as passionate about them now or I love the idea enough to do it. But this painting, I just didn't care, you know, to really improve it or anything. It's 
so I don't know why I've kept it this long, you know? I mean, it was a good thing I did because now this can be used for a work that's gonna make someone else happy. I think a lot of people think that just because you are able to do art that that should be something that, I don't know how to word this, like, it's not so much that I only care about making money off of my art because at the end of the day, I actually prefer to do art for the sake of just the love of it and if people vibe with that, then they, they buy it. It's not about the money. However, this painting neither brings me joy nor am I making money off of it. And it needs to do at least one of those things for me to justify keeping it. It actually looks kind of cool like that. <laughs> you can tell where I didn't paint anything. Like around here where it's darker, it's because that's just canvas. I don't think I painted that. <laughs> or you can see, I guess, the last time I worked on it, I guess I've started painting up here. I then drew two vertical lines and two horizontal lines to create a nine square grid. During the sketching process, I noticed the picture only shows so much, and I couldn't find another image that showed more of what the edges looked like, so I'd have to either make Marilyn bigger to fill more space, or make up what the outer edges would look like as there's nothing to go off of. I decided to go in with some white paint so I could easily identify which lines I was keeping as part of the outline as I was making so many changes and all the different lines were becoming visually confusing. So, I looked at this last night after I finished up, and it's like, very close to perfect. Like not, well, this is a really good base anyway, so I think I might only have to spend a small period of time uh, fixing the proportions just a little bit, adjusting them, and then, and then I'm good to go. I can, uh, I can get started on the actual painting process. So I'm really excited that this is going as smoothly as it is. Okay, so my problem isn't the head size, it's the placement. It's not... The head's not far over enough. Ugh! Right? That of the leg is too... weirdly shaped. So I had to let this dry for a little bit because it's just, there's just a lot of paint on there. Um, and it, until it dries, I can't touch it again with marker. 
I'm very confused as to why this isn't working out because I really didn't didn't think I had that much to do. I might have to move her down her head shoulder area down just a little bit more. But I'm gonna go and have lunch, let this dry, and come back to it hopefully with some fresh eyes or something, a fresh perspective, and then I can maybe figure out exactly where I'm going wrong here because there's something that's not right and I can't figure out exactly what it is and I don't, I just don't want to get like halfway through the painting and realize that she's misproportioned and then have to fix it later. <laughs> Okay, I realized where I'm going wrong. It's this. The head needs to be shifted this way. That's where I've been going wrong this entire time. <laughs> okay, so I need to shift the neck quite a bit. Um, I got way too tired with this today. I've just been looking at it too long. The tiles aren't big enough. I already know that. But the head, chest area, like it's misplaced. I just don't know exactly how and what exactly is wrong with this and it's driving me nuts. So I need to stop staring at it today, let my eyes just kind of rest, do a couple of other things and then come back to it tomorrow and hopefully be able to figure out exactly what it is if i don't figure it out it's fine because it's close enough that it'll still look realistic and it'll look just fine when um when it's finished it won't look misproportioned or anything like that but i don't like things that just look okay you know what i mean like i like to make sure that something looks as close to the way it should be as possible it's just my way of doing things i don't I can't just leave it so and this is the important part the beginning stages because it builds the foundation for the rest of it and if your foundation is sloppy then you're gonna have problems later on because it's not it, that doesn't go away you know you can if it's minor stuff like I think what I'm gonna be dealing with with this one will be minor changes as I go along hopefully but you know if you don't fix the big stuff from the beginning, um, you're, you're gonna have to fix it later on eventually, and it's just gonna be much harder in that case. So, I've done this one too many times to not be very picky about this. When you're doing realism, it's, it's really important. Like, it's really not fun at all to have to constantly change. I finished the outline the day before, but I didn't film that day. It wasn't 100% perfect, but I was at that point where I needed to move on. I knew that I'd have to make small changes and adjustments as I go, but at least it wouldn't be repainting entire sections. Terrible. 
Anyway, it's an example of how it's gonna look. It won't look that bad. 